1984, Chapter 1. Uh, the story takes place in April of 1984, and our protagonist is named Winston Smith. He's 39 years old, and he has a varicose ulcer above his right ankle. Uh, the elevator is always broken, so he has to use the stairs, which means his legs really hurt. Uh, you know, above the staircase, there's this huge poster saying, Big Brother's watching you. Um, Winston is what's called the outer party. Uh, if you remember the other videos, the outer party is like kind of the middle class stuff. He's not really important, uh, but he's an official. He, you know, has to wear the blue overalls, which is like their uniform. Um, he lives in a place called Airstrip One. It used to be called England, and it's part of Oceania. Uh, inside his, inside his apartment, uh, there's something called a telescreen. It's it's a big television. It's always on. It's got propaganda, and uh, through this television, not only is it showing pictures and images, but it's also watching you. So the thought police are monitoring uh, other, or is monitoring the people uh, through these telescreens. So Winston has us back to the screen. And outside of his window, he could see uh, the building called the Ministry of Truth. This is where he works. He's a propaganda officer. And what he does is when he gets, he gets an assignment and he has to go back and change the news reports. Um, so that he basically changes the way the past is remembered. Uh, there's other departments too. There's the Ministry of Peace. That's the War Department. And the Ministry of Plenty, which is the one for ec economy. And then the Ministry of Love, which is uh, where the inner party is, and that's also where they put the prisoners. So he's got this little drawer uh, hidden away from the telescreen so the telescreen can't see him, and he's got a little diary that he purchased. Uh, he was walking around the parole district. Remember, the parole is like the really low working class. Um, he was walking around this district. He found an antique shop, and he bought a diary. Now, none of that is illegal, but if he's caught... He could be executed or tortured. Um, so he begins writing in his diary, and then he realizes that him just writing is rebellious because he's not supposed to be doing it or having his own thoughts. Uh, he talks about the films he watched. There was one where, you know, a helicopter was shooting a boat of migrants. Um, and then he starts talking about this girl that he's seen around work. Uh, she's got dark hair. She's got blue overalls. She wears a red sash. That's for the Junior Anti-Sex League. And she works in something called the fiction department uh, in his building at the Ministry of Truth. And what they do is, is they produce like novels and media and stuff. Uh, he also talks about this other guy who he works with named O'Brien. Now O'Brien is an inner party member. So he's like top dog kind of guy. And Winston believes that he is an enemy of the party secretly. So... They also describe this part of their work day called the two minute hate where everybody gets into this room. There's a screen. It starts showing people the enemies of the party. And during it, you're supposed to yell and scream at the screen. And this also. So, yeah. So they yell at the screen for two minutes, really get worked up. And uh, just before, you know, he does this two minute hate, he know he hates Big Brother but he saw the same thing in O'Brien's eyes, so they kind of connected without talking. Um, Winston, so it goes back to the president, Winston looks down at his diary and he realized he wrote down with big brother over and over again in big letters. He committed something called a thought crime. That's where you think of something that's illegal, right? And he knows that if the telescreen saw him do it, the thought police will come and take him. Anyway, just as this moment happens, there's a knock on his door, and that's the end of that chapter.